What's up guys? This is Chang Yong and you're watching iPhone Highlight episode 2. If you're learning vocabulary, I bet you're gonna love this segment because I'm gonna help you guys to skip one step in your journey to expand your vocabulary. In this episode, we have two ravishing Australian guests, both of whom are veterans of the industry of education, and it is obvious that we can learn a myriad of words and phrases from them during their talk. Our first guest is Miss Jane Bain, who has spent the entirety of her stay in Vietnam in Hanoi because of the quarantine. At first, it was really difficult for a family with a young child like hers, but eventually they came out the other end, which means they've made it through, uh, since they were very well looked after by all the Vietnamese people that they've met. She also talked about how she ended up working in education as a young girl coming from the country area. She managed to be admitted to Melbourne University, which she described as a right fit for such an academically inclined person like her. After that, she was mentored by her supervisor, who then kindly nudged her in the right direction for her. Well, I guess everybody needs a mentor in his or her life, right? Hayden was afraid that Miss Jane Bain might get apprehensive because it was her first time on TV. So he brought to us another guest, Miss Melissa Bent, who has articulated how world-class and top-notch Australian universities are. She also asserted that Australia has a piece of legislation that makes sure the quality of education here is up to par or up to snuff, that is as good as it should be. Australia also has ombudsmen to protect international students, which would assuage, that is to relieve the concerns of parents whose children are studying abroad. Certainly during COVID, the Australian institutions have a whole raft of support for international students in terms of both academic and well-being. Next up in the Isles on the Go segment, the story of Chuk, a young little girl so far away from the study hub of urban areas, but somehow managing to master English is all inspiring. As our host Tu Zhong described, Chuk is confident, self-reliant and cool. We also met another talented young girl in the Voice of the Week segment, Hang, who said that this was a once-in-a-lifetime experience for her to appear on national television. After her speech, everybody wholeheartedly agreed that there should not be a one-size-fits-all approach to university admissions. And that concludes the episode for today. I hope you had a ball watching the show just like our guests did. Remember to practice using those words and phrases. And I'll see you next time with more of it. Bye!